it's Rachel here from Rachel Bella Crafts. Welcome back to um, our video series um, making the botanical journal for our giveaway. Um, as you can see today, we have all these lovely goodies ready to go into our um, bound journal. I just wanted to give you all a quick um, look at what um, I have made um, before we put it in. Um, and yeah, just go through a couple of things with you. Um, I may do a couple of tutorials after this one um, on a few of the items that I've got here on the table today. But um, today I'm just it's a bit of a show and tell because I have I have done um, done some stuff um, off camera. So we're looking for can't get my teeth in place today. So I'm very excited. I have a new bottle of glue thanks to my mother. She did pop this over yesterday for me. Should you need glue? <laughs> yes, I do. So over it came. So we're all set for um, sticking everything in. My gosh, I don't even know where to start. There is so much on the table. Right, well, first of all, you've seen these, haven't you? These are the ones that I made um, with you from our um, master boards. So that's our pockets. We know they're there. So that's great. I'll pop those back over there. And also you've seen these. These are our uh, fabric pockets that we made in the fabric pocket demonstration. So they're all ready to go in as well. So I'll just pop those over by there a second. Um, we've got our tuck spots to go on the edges of the pages. Um, and that one there can double up as a belly band as well. Um, so I finished decorating that one after um, the last video. So I just simply added some fabric and some buttons on there that I felt matched and went quite nicely. Um, what else have you not seen? You've seen the pockets, haven't you? These ones here, we did those in the demonstration. So they're all good. Okay, I think everything else is new. So what I did on the weekend, um, well, we had a bit of a, uh, a bit of a sad weekend, didn't we? We had um, the, the, the funeral of our um, Prince Philip. So I sat with the fire lit and <laughs> plopped myself in front of the sofa for a few hours just to sit and watch the coverage of that. And um, I thought, I know, I'll make some envelopes. That's pretty easy to do on the tray in front of the TV. So. I did a few, uh, watched a few demonstrations on YouTube to try and get some different ideas and um, watched a few brilliant videos on there and just went over um, the process of making different shaped envelopes, which was really useful because I think sometimes we do forget and we go off and or you get stuck in one way of doing things, don't you? So um, the first one I've done is this one here. I've just simply used a really pretty page there from Edith Holden's book. And then you can see with a nice simple flap and I just cut out the circle there so that you can see and it makes it easier to pull things in and out. Which is quite nice because it's lined inside then with the writing. So that's one of the first envelopes we're going to put in. I do have to add a little bit of lace onto that one though. Um, then I did these two which are both quite similar. So simply I folded up the card. I did fold the ends in to make a little bit of a a track inside to, to stick it together uh, and then I stitched then using my green thread because I still had green thread then <laughs> um, around the, the edge and then I put a bit of a decorative trim on there and then here I've used paper scraps and uh, a little bit of lace and simply just made a, a scrap uh, cluster and popped that on to the opener and then inside you can see then you've got a really nice envelope and then on the front then I printed off some um, butterflies on vellum and I used those then to make little faux stamps. Um, underneath the vellum I've used, um, I, tra I printed rather, one of the kit pages onto some tracing paper which obviously is slightly different in uh, texture to vellum. I hadn't tried that before so I was you know interested to see how it would come out. As it turns out Printing on tracing paper is really not very good because I was just covered in the ink. It literally was just was smearing off. So it was a little bit on there, but it was very faint. So I didn't want to waste the page. So I, I started to cut instead and I made um, the outsides there look of the stamps. So a little lace cluster on there just to finish it off. I think that's quite a nice envelope. And then again, the same with this one here. So you'll see I just used that tracing paper, which has just got a faint bit of the pattern on there. And then again, um, a paper scrap cluster on there and we've got a nice envelope in there. So that's those two. This one I've used a botanical book page again using a similar style to the first one. What I've done slightly differently with this one though is rather than, who you notice with this one I've cut out the thumb 
the grab hole, whatever you want to call it, with the little circle cutter. Um, this one I didn't. I simply took my scissors and I just cut down very sl uh, slightly um, just to create a bit of space and so you can see if there's anything poking out of the envelope. Um, but I thought that was quite sweet on the front of there. Um, I also then did print some more of the kit onto vellum and I made a pocket out of this one. Um, so that's simply just a nice vellum pocket there um, that can be used then. I'm going to use that in the journal. Uh, the other one that I did then, oh, I, envelopes, going back to the envelopes, right here we are. This was perhaps where I should say I started. So I had some pages of the kit. I had some um, some scrap bits left from when I was collaging. So again, rather than waste, I simply turned these into envelopes. So um, we've got this style here with the nice large flap and I just simply stuck the sides down. Um, it's very simple and straightforward to make, but I think it's quite effective, especially when you're using uh, pages from the kit because it, it just reinforces that throughout the, um, the journal then. This one here, slightly different style. I haven't stuck this one down because I think as it's white on the inside, that's quite a handy journal in space there. So although it looks like an envelope and will sit in the journal like an envelope, um, you can actually take that out then and journal on the inside. Um, same with this one here. This is a larger one um, and I've just followed the same um, process there with that one. But I have folded that lip down on this one because obviously it was quite a bit of a bigger page um, and this one's a bit busier because I'd printed on the back of that accidentally and I thought right I'll use that and I can go in there but I quite like that and I think that's quite effective with um, Natalie's collage page so that's those envelopes and then I made some itty bitty ones and I think these are super cute um, and the only difference with these is on this one, I've used the um, paper rounder. If you remember, I was moaning it was blunt the other day. Perhaps that's why. Oh, and thank you, Kiri, for your tip about the foil. I will try and put a sheet down in there after. I uh, haven't had a chance yet, but that was great. Thank you. Um, but that's all I've done there is I've just rounded those edges off. And I think it just gives it a bit of a, a different finish. It's quite, quite like that. And then I've got even smaller ones. These little itty itty bitty ones, aren't they cute? And there's a little tiny little letter in this one. There we go. Hey. So I'm going to pop those in, but I'm not going to use those as envelopes in the journal. I'm going to use them as pockets. I'll stack them up like that on the page, so I'll show you that a bit later. Um, this was the, oh, there's another one there as well. I, I thought that was quite nice botanical paper. This was something else that I then saw. Um, I saw this demonstrated on Carol Law's, uh, one of Carol Law's recent videos. She did um, a flip through of two beautiful journals that she's recently made. Um, if you want to go and check those out, they were fab. And she had this really interesting um, pocket mini journal in the journal. So um, we're going to put some coffee paper in here and turn this into a bit of a notepad. But it also then has these handy little side tucks, you see. So I've literally just folded the paper and I haven't done anything with it. But it was so easy to make because it is literally a large square and you just fold each piece in. Like that. That's literally all I've done is just fold the triangles back on themselves. Do you remember when we were kids and we used to make those... Um, Oh, my boys come home sometimes from school and you like hold it like that and you have to count and open it up. Well, that's just the first fold of that. And rather than then turn it over and do the same thing, you simply fold it in half. And by folding it in half, then you're giving yourself a little tuck space there. And then obviously you've got the inside then, which you can use as, um, as a mini notebook journal thing. So yeah, we're going to finish that off later and pop that in. And then this one, this is my favourite way to use um, scraps. This is, I just had one side of uh, one of the pages left over. And all I have done is fold over the top of the paper like that to make my triangle. And this bit here is just a piece of paper folded up. Look how effective that is. 
So I just started off with simply just a strip, strip of paper like that. It was just a leftover from where I cut from um, collage in. And all I did was fold those two ends down at the top. It's nicer if you leave a little bit of space in your fold. I don't know if you can see that gap there. So rather than me, me folding like right at the bottom of the, the bottom of the flap, you, you give yourself a centimetre and then fold it over. And then it just, it's, it's nice. You've just got that little bit of a drop there. And then however much you've got, you can do this with the smallest of paper scraps. Trust me, the smallest. In fact, <laughs> let me see if we can do it out of this. This will all go horribly wrong now, you see. But if you just simply, oh my goodness, it's a tiny, right, little triangle like that. I know I want to get this dead straight now because uh, that's the pressure of the camera. But I'd have done that not a lot neater if I hadn't uh, <laughs> picked such a small piece. But you will see the idea. You're making a triangle at the top and then simply fold it. Now you can cut that if you wanted to. You could make that um, smaller in there or whatever, or fold it right up and make a teeny tiny little envelope with it. But it really is as simple as that. It's these little, um, it's the little things that you do with the scraps at the end. I find sometimes have the most effect. So there you go, you ink that up then. And you've got yourself a tiny, tiny little envelope. I know it's not straight, I didn't have time to make it straight. But there you go. I think that's quite effective. I might even pop that in. But then if you want to write in there, you've got all this space then to put a little note. So you can do anything with scraps. It's amazing, isn't it? You just need to watch somebody's YouTube video. That's not my idea, by the way. That's someone I saw that a long time ago. But I think that's brilliant. OK, what else have we got here? I know you can all be getting very distracted by all the fabric here. I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> Oh, and I mean, um, this one here is going to be a pocket again, nice bit of Edith Holden. Simply decorated the outside, it then opens out inside. So, imagine this is going to be stuck on the book page. It then opens out inside. In here, you've got an additional little tuck area, but that also then concertina out, concertinas out rather to a writing space. Look at that again. Carol Laws, this, I saw this idea in her video, I thought it was fabulous, so I thought I'm going to have to do something like that. And then this side, I've simply taken one of the mini tags from the kit and created another little tuck spot then. I thought it was handy for popping in these lovely little writing um, bits here out of Natalie's kit. And then I put a little tag on there so that sticks out from the outside. And you'll have that then in the journal and then you will be able to put something in that nice large pocket. So there's that one there, and then this one is the same. I haven't uh, put any lace in front of this one yet, but it goes the other way. And then you've got um, a nice big tuck spot there. So you'll have a pocket inside, and then a pocket behind for you to put a tag in, just like that. Okay, so that's those. Okay, this is the best bit. Here we have, these treats are from Bella. Now, Bella's very kindly made us a beautiful slow stitch. I hope you can see that. None I got on the right place. Beautiful slow stitch belly band to go in this journal. So I dropped over to her last week some of the um, remnants of what I used on the cover. So you can see the fabric there. Um, and she's used some of the other botanical fabrics that we've got. And then she found these brilliant words. I don't know if any of you saw the picture she put on our Facebook page last week um, where I'd been uh, sorting out the fabrics and the edging that's on the fabric had all this writing on there and like the, the colour code thing on the side and she likes to keep them for her slow stitching project so because I take them all over and she was like oh my gosh Rachel you won't believe there's all floral words on there so she stuck some of those on there for you guys because of course this is going to be going to one of you um, so you're going to have your very own bit of Bella slow stitch in there for you isn't that fantastic? I think she did a great job there. So we'll put that in place as well later. Um, and she's also run off a load of these beautiful, oh, I can't think of the word, ruffles. There we go, ruffles. Botanical ruffles, that's what I was trying to say. So I was going to say, I meant to look at that. I'm not even sure how she's done that there. Oh, I see, right, okay. Because that's two layers there. Look, you've got like a, a lacy layer there on top of some fabric. And then you've got that one there, I think it's rather pretty. 
So we're not going to fit all of these in, obviously as you can see, because there's quite a lot here, but we'll see which ones go best and where. Um, and we'll put in what we can. That's another one there. And then look at these, my gosh, these are huge, huge. But they're fab and they're so thick. So it's a good job I've made that journal with lots and lots of space. She's made these, these are actual vintage fabrics that these have been made from because these are the ones that we sell in our vintage sales. Um, this is one of the botanical ones and I think there's even a little butterfly chicken out there. So what we may have to do is to use some of these, we might cut some down and then uh, use the rest of it then as perhaps clusters. So there we are. So that's all the goodies that we have to go in the journal today. I'm going to start putting things in and I'll let you watch along. I may put some music on if it gets a bit boring for you. Um, and we'll see where we are at the end. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that I've added in is the, um, the ruffle to the front page. Because I quite like that. I think it takes all the colours nicely. Adds a little bit of... Um, thickness there as well to the uh, the front of the journal and there is one that matches and I'm going to add that to the back there because again I quite like that there and I think it just will be a bit uniform. I know they're a bit longer than the page but I'm going to just leave those for now because I quite like that and um, we'll just see how it looks so I'm not going to go cutting anything down at the moment. Um, okay so I'm just going to work my way through the journal you might find my method a little bit haphazard, but I just, um, you know it is, things come to mind. You think, oh, we'll try that there, or we'll try that there. But I do like, if I can, to try and work back and front. Um, I don't know about you, but I do find when I'm filling my journal, sometimes if I start at the front and just do it page by page, by the time I get to about here, I'm usually a bit like, oh my gosh, this needs to end now, and I just need to rush to the end of it. And then... I feel when I'm perhaps doing a flip through of it afterwards and I think, oh yeah, that does look, Rachel, like you just rushed to the end of it. Or like the last six pages or, you know, you, you just struggle, I think. So I, I'm trying a different method now where I do a bit at the front, do a bit at the back and, and work my way in towards the middle. Um, I know what I'm going to do with the middle. I've got um, this beautiful floral lace. I didn't see that with the flowers on it. And I'm going to simply add that here. Um, as a trim to these flaps and then you can open them and if you want to you can write inside of there um, but it'll just give that a nice um, a nice flowery feel I think so I'll do that both sides but I will do that at the end and then we've got this lace then that's going to be added to um, the front of the journal on the spine and then we'll add some further bits to the back but I'm going to keep those for now because if I start adding loads of glue with lace my goodness we won't be able to open anything Okay, so I'm going to just plod through slowly and quietly. I try to as well, if I can, work in this method, split what I've got in half um, so that, you know, the first half has got similar things to the second half maybe. Um, and that then I make sure that, it, like I say, I don't get to the back and I've, I've run out of, of things to use or um, ideas or what have you. Um, I suppose we've all got, probably got very different ways of filling journals. I don't know, we might all do it the same, I'm not sure, but um, I, I just find that this, the way I was doing it before wasn't working for me, so I'm hoping that perhaps if I try and do it this way, maybe it will. Um, I'm also quite probably going to be talking a whole load of nonsense if I'm talking while concentrating on doing this, because <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate as well. But yeah, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, Oh, I keep forgetting to tell you guys, but do you remember I mentioned to you a few weeks ago, um, my pen pal wrote me a letter and I was most put out because the postman delivered the stuff and the envelope which she'd made for me was all torn. It was a map and she'd drawn like these beautiful, um, I think they were um, VW uh, camper vans. And I love VW camper vans. They're like one of my favourite things. I, that's my ultimate goal. I want one of those when I'm old and just drive around in it. Preferably a blue one. <laughs> but she'd sent me these these lovely packages in with my letter and she messaged which I told you were tea bags and she messaged me um the other day on Instagram to say you know had I got my letter safe and hoped I was all right and so I was telling her about um what happened with the envelope and I said oh I showed, told her it was on my uh one of my YouTube videos so she went and had a look and she messaged me back later and she said well Rachel she said 
You might have a shock if you use these as tea bags because what they actually are, <laughs> I hadn't seen because I didn't have my glass on the time. They're perfume samples from France. So I won't be putting these in my tea. Just thought I'd tell you all that. Oh my goodness, I'm such a dumbo. I'm so glad she messaged me because had she not messaged and I sold her, um, yeah, they might have ended up in my tea. Ugh. That would not have been nice. It would have smelt lovely though, I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay, I'll tell you something else I'm just gonna really quickly do as well is just count how many pages I've got here. Um, again, like I say, I don't want to bulk it all up in one area and then not put anything in the other. So we're not gonna put anything on there, not gonna put anything on that because it's uh, vellum. Um, yep, so one, two, that's all right there. Three, no. That's already on there. But, oh, okay. Um, great. I'm gonna pop this one on here then, because I think that goes on there quite nicely. Um, I really enjoyed making this one. Did I show you this one? I don't think I did, did I? This is another envelope that I did. I just back the back with white, and that is literally just the front of the Needis Holden. That's it, that's all that there is. There was a bit of a strip, and I put little folds in it, like an envelope, and then stuck just a plain piece of card to the back, stitched it, used a bit of the thread out of the jar that Mum told me to keep, and then I've just... See, I said about me not cutting all my threads off. Well, I'm glad I didn't, and look. So I put a little charm on there. And then in here is this most beautiful tag. Again, Edith Holden. I backed it there so that you can write on it. And then there's a bit of fabric there for the thing. So I like that very much. I'm going to pop that in there, I think. And I'm going to pop it in the middle so you've got that then poking out of the top. Oh, the weather here has been lovely today. It's uh, really sunny. Blue sky, not a cloud in the sky. And, um, yeah, just gorgeous. We took the dogs out early. And then we took them up. Um, I don't know if you've all seen it. I did a video um, a few weeks back when I was doing the inspiration series. I think it might have been the second one I did, actually. I can't for the life of me think now what I was talking about or what the video was about. But at the beginning of the video, I did a really quick, um, like, slideshow thing to music. And um, I played a hymn on there. And that the, the photos that I showed you on there were of um, up somewhere we walk. It's actually the top of the mountain where Mum lives at the bottom of at the moment. And um, beautiful, massive balance pond up there. And we took the dogs up there again today. And, oh my goodness, it was beautiful. There was not a cloud in the sky. Um, and our puppy, Bella, who some of you have heard <laughs> snoring in the background sometimes. Our black lab, we took her up because she loves swimming. She's like a water baby. Um, and, oof, she was in. Well, she managed to swim the whole length of this pond today. Not the length, sorry, the width. I do apologize, the width. She swam all the way across, picked up a, a dummy, and then um, swam all the way back across. And there was a couple of people up there with their deck chairs, fascinated. Um, and uh, yeah, she was quite the talk up there. So she had a great time. It was a bit windy, but oh, it was lovely. Really nice. So I sat on the on the moss and got my notebook out and drew the designs for the next digi. It was quite inspiring, isn't it, there, actually? Um, on the other half was doing a bit of training with the dogs. So, yeah, nice to get out today and just have a bit of very, 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 very fresh air. Because, <laughs> my golly, it was fresh. Right on the top of the mountain. So I hope you've all managed to get out and start doing some things. I don't know what um, restrictions are like where you are now. I know some places are going back into things. We really have been very fortunate here now in uh, Britain that things are um, starting to improve greatly. Just put that on there to hold that in place while it dries. Um, I find these quite useful if you've got a bit of an awkward shape. A piece of ephemera or a pocket or something and it doesn't want to lie flat 
just stick one of these on and that glue bind them in no time. You know, you don't leave it on for long, a couple of minutes. Um, but it, what it does do is allows you to carry on with the next bit without sitting there leaning heavily on the glue. So just pop that on there and I should clamp that in place then. Hopefully you won't need to add any more. Um, okay, so we got pocket. Of course, we'll have a tuck spot there. Um, this is the, I think I showed you this, the little flap out there, journaling spot. So we'll, I'm not gonna put anything on there so that you can write on that. Um, this is a little flip out. I may add something to that later, but I don't want to cover all that lovely coffee dye crinkliness up. And those pretty poppies on there. That's lovely, that page, isn't it? Um, okay, so we've got our vintage book page and our vellum. And leave that again as a writing page. Okay, let's perhaps put some of our small um, envelopes on the back of here. Um, I know what we'll do. We will use some of these elements here. And we'll do a little bit of the collage, I think. Right, where's my ink? Also printed out just a couple of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for public domain uh, images just to um, complement the um, the ephemera that's in Natalie's kit. So just some really tiny little bits like this, but I think they'll be ideal for us making a bit of a collage. So what do I pop it like that? And then I'm thinking we'll stack then these little envelopes, one there and one there, and there'll be little tuck spots. What do you reckon? Again, an idea I saw. I want to say, I think it's Corey. Is that, have I got that right, um, the lady's name? Um, oh my gosh, she's doing a brilliant uh, series on... Um, pockets and tucks and um yeah oh brilliant so i've watched a couple of those now and uh it's the sort of thing you do when you're watching it and you're like oh i gotta go make that now <laughs> so, i was a bit of a butterfly on saturday because i was watching um loads of youtube and obviously just plonked myself in front of the fire in the tv watching what was going on on the TV and uh, my coffee table was just plastered in um, fabric scraps and uh, all the paper scraps I had. So my other half kind of came in and looked and was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and very wisely went and busied himself in the garden and um, yeah, just trying to get all the ideas straight down onto paper because if you don't do it straight away, you forget. Sorry, that's my oldest, just off out the front door, which is rather squeaky. And then if we pop that one there. Hmm, I want to slide that across there a bit. That's better, because that was irritating me there. And then just straighten that out. And we need something to just give that a little bit of height, don't we? Because that's a bit square. Oh, what about this one here? That's super pretty. I love these little um, flower ephemeras that were in Natalie's kit. Now, do I go there with it? Or do I go there with it? Or there? Oh, on top, I think. Right. Oh, I know what we could put in there. Oh, gosh, I nearly glued that then, look. What if we put of this and is that nice fabric I had? Ha, here we go. Right. I don't know where this has come from. 
probably none. But I found this earlier. Look at that. Those lovely little floral prints on there. So I thought, ah, oh, that'll do. We'll have some of that. So if I just take a tiny, tiny bit in the jar with you. My jar is quite full. Look. Won't be long. I'm going to empty it and use it. <laughs> I might actually sit and do some mass making with that. Perhaps on the weekend. I'll get this one done and then we'll... Uh, I think that behind there would look rather nice. What do you think? Okay. Oh, it's great having glue. There's nothing worse, is there, when you're trying to get a load of stuff stuck in and the glue is just not plain ball. I don't know why my order of it took is taking so long. Perhaps it's been caught in the Suez Canal or something. Maybe that's why it's so late. Who knows? As long as it's not too long. This should last me now a week, I think. <laughs> yeah, so we'll put a teeny tiny, tiny little card with some very, very old music paper on. And we'll just pop that in there, I think, like that. There we go. So that's that page done. Youngest off of his grub. Um, so, well, good job I got it because I got sat back down and I thought I'm gonna just put one of those lovely Hessian words on there. So there we are, we got bless there, and that's been printed on to um, linen. So I think that looks all right there. Um, let's go back and just check these a minute now. Only one too long. Oh, there we are. Great. That's stuck brilliantly now. Yep. And this one. There we go. And sometimes I do just like to check after sticking pockets down that I haven't got a random strand of glue sticking anywhere. No, that's fine. Brilliant. That's quite um, camouflaged into that there, isn't it? It's great. Okay, so let's move back on. Um, is that one there done? I glued the belly band in, so that's fabric tack down now. Again, I've added some little bulldog clips just to keep that in place at the minute, because obviously with all the turning, I don't want that coming in stuck. Okie dokie, um, so what have we got left here now? So I've got this large pocket here, this pocket here, and this pocket here. Um, and Obviously I'll come back then and add in things like envelopes. This is what I tend to do first. I go for my tuck spots and my pockets first, and then, um, and my um, <laughs> ruffles, that word is not sticking with me tonight, uh, and my ruffles. And then I um, come back then with ephemera and embellishments then. I think that's quite nice on me. What do you think? Could put it there, but yeah, I like the background behind it. And I'm going to try and remember to just glue three sides, because I think, maybe not that one, I think that would make a brilliant tuck spot there for a nice big journaling card. Okay, let's stick that down next. Um, and then what else have we got then? We've got that page, that page, and that one. Okay, right, yeah, that'll be fine there. It's the commitment, sticking it down. Say goodbye to the teacups. I like to concentrate now, Rachel. Right, if you're only gluing, somebody, I saw this trick once on somebody's YouTube, this is not my idea, again, I won't take credit for this. If you're only gluing three sides because you want to leave one side open for a tuck, put your hand on the side you mustn't glue. Because we've all done it. Rush, rush, rush. Oh, glue this, glue that. And then you think, oh no, I didn't want to glue that bit down. And then it's too late because it's glued and it's in place. I am being quite liberal with the glue on this because this is quite heavy. There's a lot of fabric and what have you on there. 
Um, so I'm going to go in about the, and then we've got room then for a tab on something. Um, let's pop that on there again, because this is very heavy and it's going to just lift otherwise. starts to bond I find it's all right but it's just the initial uh, getting it to stay in place that there. there we go clamp clamp there we go and sometimes as well it is easier to rub the page behind because you've got nothing in the way then of you. So just leave that to settle into place there. And what have we got left now? So I've got that nice bit of, that's for, um, I may put some little stamping on there, but that's definitely for writing on. Um, we could put a pocket on there. No, that's too big. I needed to go earlier back. Ooh, or we could put it, like this and we could have a tuck spot because of course your pockets don't have to go that way they can go that way hmm let me think about that one oh no i don't really want the edith holding on the edith holding it loses its effect then doesn't it let me just go back a second and just check again oh, i tell you where i meant for that pocket actually here yes because i think that's where i measured it for and what have we got on the other side Darn it. See, I should have done that as a belly band flip. I forgot that. See, just too quick. Glue, glue. Oh, we can put it there. Oh, no, I like that actually. Now let's put that there. Right, okay. <gasps> I'm gluing. Just the three sides. Oh, that frustrates me when I put stuff in and I'm a bit fast. And uh, I think then afterwards. This is why. Originally, when I was first making journals, oh my gosh, it used to take me forever because I'd be, I would like paper clip, clip stuff in, in case I change my mind or could make a decision. But I always think now, I'd be there all day otherwise, I really would just be umming and ahhing and thinking, oh, I don't know whether to put that there or not. Whereas now I just think, look, just make a decision. If you regret it after, there's always another journal in there. So it's not wrong. It's just, I'm just thinking to myself, I could have just used it as a belly band. So... You know, it is what it is. I can't think of everything, can we? Done that the wrong way now. Just want the long bit this side. Right, I'm just popping this nice big paper clip on here again, just to hold that in place. Because sometimes with a card, it does tend to rise up a bit. Um, I'm not going to do that there, am I? Because I've got my thingy me there. So let's just get that a minute to just bond. Hmm, what's next then? Should have another. I've lost the one belly band, have I? Oh my word, if you could see the state of my desk. No, no, there it is. Right, yeah, so that needs to go this side. Right, so we'll leave that a second. We've got. I'm just going to go back and check. Yep, yep. I could put that there, look. That tuck spot. Why is that? Oh, it's because I've got the paper clip and that's all right. I was going to say that's riding. Um, oh, we haven't got anything on this page. Okay. Ideally, I wanted to put this on a page that side, but I could use the other one. Ah. Oh. What about putting that there? I don't know. Do you put two pockets side by side? Put it on the back of there actually can I because it is a pocket you see so it's got to look like a pocket so it'll go in the middle we'll wait obviously to like move that and then you'll have it there and then we'll be able to open it out pull that down right on that and then pop a nice big tag in behind it so probably something like this yeah I think that's quite nice adds a bit of colour here as well then doesn't it Right, so we'll put that there in a second. 
And then that one's in now, isn't it? That's just drying. And then this one. And we pop that there. And we got ourselves a tuck spot then. Maybe we can put either a large journal card or um, an envelope or something like that. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, right, so we'll pop that there and we'll pop that on there. So let's just see if any of these are dry now so I can get rid of these bulldog clips. Yeah, that looks good to me. Oh, look at that beautiful belly band. That's quite something, isn't it? Hey, hey, hey. Is it going to go through? Yay, look at that. That was made for that, wasn't it? Right, I'm going to leave that behind me because it keeps the page stable a second while I glue this in place. Right, I need to concentrate now. Glue in three sides because the top's a pocket. Don't do glue too close to the end. Because I don't want it going on to the... This glue is like a spider's web, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not conducting an orchestra, it's all right. I did have strands of glue in the air. <laughs> I just realised how stupid that looked. Sorry. There we go. It's, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's, it lands, isn't it, when you finish gluing? <laughs> My music page look it was inspiring me to to conduct okie dokie by the way don't forget three days left after today well including today if you haven't entered the giveaway now i can see how many have entered and i know you all haven't done it so if you want to win the journal you need to go and follow the link and make sure you enter you'll be in it to win it because somebody, some, one of you, is going to win this journal on Sunday evening. Oh, it's exciting. I'm so excited. I'm not winning it. Right. Let's put one of these on there, I think. Pink, blue, pink, blue, pink. And we'll have a little bit of that. Oh, I went to bed the other night and left the lid off my distress ink. Oh. <gasps> Goodness, when I came down the next morning, panic all over my face. Thankfully, it seems to be okay. But yes, I was super, super panicked. I'll to try and get some of those drops. Because you can add them on, can't you? And right, I'm going to put that there, I think, so we can put some little in there. Oh, and where did that fabric go? Oh, I know what we'll do. What if we put that there and then we'll put the pocket on the top of there, maybe at a bit of an angle and then we'll leave it open for a little tuck spot. Yes, I like the idea. Sorry, I'm talking more to me now than I am you. This is Rachel's process when she's journaling, sat talking to herself. Whatever works, isn't it? And then we'll put a little bit on me. We will put that like that. I'm not going to put any of those in there because that's no right okay have I missed anything right. not sure where they're going to go yet not sure where the envelopes yet um did I oh I'm going to put it there on aren't I yes and of course I don't want to overstuff the journal because Whichever of you wins it, I'm sure will want to add your own stamp to it. Girls, 
and guys. Well, I say girls and guys. Girls, I know it's ladies watching because my YouTube statistics tells me that my audience is 100% female. So I do apologise if there are any gentlemen there watching. I don't mean to be prejudiced, but you're obviously not logged in because YouTube doesn't know you're there. My son's very happy as well this evening. He's come down and told me that we've hit 800 subscribers today. So thank you all so much for all your support. That is phenomenal. So we're in the middle of a giveaway for our 500 subbies. And we're not yet finished. And we're at 800 of you following the channel.
Okay, so that's all of our pockets, tuck spots and belly bands stuck into the journal now. Um, I'll leave it that now for today and then I will add some extra bits myself now before the next video where we will uh, add our tags and we will continue embellishing the journal until it's finished. Thanks so much for watching again today and I'll see you all very soon. Bye now.